morning. Jamie boy's been busy. Currently working his lunch. Check out his progress. Ooh. Here you go, my friend. Oh, thank you. One call. I had to borrow it. He's literally like plumbing it all up and then we're gonna get it running again, put some coolant in it, and um just gonna see if it makes chatter noises because that's what everyone always wants to hear with a turbo car. Well he's around here anyway. Oh yeah. It's alive. Go on, make choo choo noises. Oh mate. That was well disappointing. Yeah, it's got no coolant temp sensor. And it's not max. Jamie has been busy. Check this out. Oh yeah. Finished his exhaust. Three inch off the turbo, straight out the side, like the van. I feel like I've set a trim with that van. Got the And it's cheap, yeah. Not a lot of material. Got the rad mounted, got the intercooler mounted. Everything's all plumbed in. And the wastegate's in, it's got coolant in it, it runs, it drives. You put drive shafts in it now as well, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Just sorting out your interior, got the dash back in. Right. Can check gauge. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Go on, turn the ignition on, I want to see. I would have. Check this out. Max ECU Mini, or Max ECU can check gauge. Oh yeah, you can reconfigure it. Change it to whatever you want. Look at that, six screens at once. Ignore the oil pressure. Yeah, ignore the oil pressure, we haven't well done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Both seats in, got the harnesses in, one harness. Yeah, don't ask. And today, all being well, we're gonna map it. Although it probably won't take too much power because, tell them Jamie, why won't it take too much power? Because it's got a standard 1.8 clutch in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the hurry up when he was trying to put the engine in a box in the hull um, the only clutch and flywheel combo he had sitting around was just a 1.8 petrol uh, out of my van yeah 1.8 transit connect petrol flywheel and clutch kit um so he just threw all that in just so he could you know get it in and get it driving because he didn't really you didn't really realize it was going to come together this quick did you no, I'm not. <laughs> um so basically we're going to put it on the dyno and we're going to try and map it and if we can do one power on that, would be great. But ideally, the aim of the game is just to make it like run and drive nice. So then you can drive it around and then save up some more money for a decent clutch. <laughs> oh, and it's got the gearbox in this as well. It's just a standard MTX, but he has got, where is it, over here? It's over there. I don't know why I'm gonna walk all the way over here just to show you a gearbox. Like you don't know what a full MTX looks like. So this is a two liter focus box, but we put a Crave diff in it. So um, yeah, he needs to put that in with a decent clutch. But obviously he's not gonna put that in until he's got a decent clutch. Um, so yeah, that's the aim of the game today. We've got a few bits to do down here. I've got to do brakes all around on that. I've got to get this through its MOT. Jamie's got to do some more bits on this and just general tidy it up, mount the number plate and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to uh, go down the farm, fire up the dyno for the first time in 2021. I haven't actually used it this year. I hope it still works. <laughs> oh, we might need to tidy up the unit a bit. There's crap everywhere. Super. <laughs> right, let's crack on. Done, dusted, and driving. Oh yeah. Right, let's go to the farm and map it. It's such a cool car. Can't wait. So, we are down the farm, and as you can see, the sun is out, and I can't see a thing. Jamie's got his Fiesta down here, obviously. Um, just need to have a tidy up, because obviously, oh, you haven't seen upstairs, have you? Let me show you the man cave. Let me go up here. 
So obviously, loads more has been done since last time you guys see up here. Ta-da! It's all boxed in, plenty of stud wallness now. I don't really know what the wording is. I'm a mechanic, not a builder. This is all the reclaimed wood that come off of that um, roof that Ollie stripped. So yeah, just need to get some more wood for the roof. Balled it all over. I need to get a door for there. It's all right, it's gonna be a man cave, isn't it? These extractor fans will go down there in the floor somewhere to draw out the dyno cell when that's done. And then I'm gonna do some boxing in over there just to let fresh air in. So yeah, um, need to have a bit of a sort out. Cause obviously it's a right old mess. Ginger Scooby's still here. Uh, just need to have a bit of a sweep up and a tidy up really. Just to move around, get the car off the dyno cause I haven't used it this year yet. And then we'll get Jamie's Fiesta on and see what he does. So, we had one of the shortest dyno sessions known to man. <laughs> Cheers for that, Jamie. So, um, as we guessed, I wouldn't be taking a picture of that. I'm doing not, it for Should be proud of that. I'm not proud of it. What power did it make? 127. So, so 1.8 standard clock, one half, one out clutch. Yeah. So, so, we've run it on the dyno, and this is the results. Look, 127 horsepower. Um, yeah, it makes like 9 psi, no not even that, nearly 7 psi boost and the air fuel ratio is just all over the place. So what happens is you do a power run, the clutch starts slipping, it hits the limiter, this is the air fuel ratio off the limiter where I'm sitting on the limiter, but it just carries on where the wheels are still catching up, so the clutch slips quite bad. So yeah Jay, fix it, oh you know what, it might be not making that much boost because that pipe's crushed. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, that's it for this really short dyno video of Jamie's Fiesta. But now you've seen the car, you've seen the Max ECU that we put on it. So yeah, until next time, bye.